G'day Bomber fans, practice match tomorrow. I've already got a preview out, uh, so you can go watch that if you want, but the squads for those games have been released. I was hoping to get this video out earlier, but I have been busy, a busy bee. Uh, sorry about the late post, uh, but here it is. We got a cheeky little squad reaction, or whatever you want to call it. Now, I said in my preview, I was more keen for this than the actual game, and that isn't a lie. I feel like this squad was going to tell us a lot about the layout of our team as a whole, where the pecking order is in certain positions. A bit anticlimactic. Um, it's kind of as expected, the squad. So let's get into it. And to make it a little bit different, I'm going to do it position by position so I can just talk about who got a spot in favor of who. Uh, so let's get into this. Uh, here is Essendon's 28-man squad for our practice match against St. Kilda tomorrow. Before I do read the squads, I'm just going to go through a quick tiny update on who is missing because of injury for the 50th time this week. I'm going to skim through it here because uh, those who are well aware of this would have heard me talk about it a lot. But for those who aren't, I feel like I should say just in case you're wondering where Wright and Ridley are. So here we are. Hunter, Baldwin, Wanganine, all not going to play round one. They're all injured. Shield, Draper, Kelly, Hobbs all could play round one. Hobbs should be back uh, next week for that game. Maybe Kelly, even maybe even Draper for some minutes. Who knows? And Caddy, Wright and Ridley are all sore. They're not injured, but they're expected to feature next week against the Cats in that official practice game. So that's that. Let's get into the squad. Alrighty, starting with the defense, we've got Andy McGrath, Nick Cox, Jaden Laverty, Dyson Heppel, uh, Lewis Hayes, Mason, Redman, Zach Reed, Ben Mackay, and Nick Martin. It's a it's an interesting blend. You've got some big, tall key backs, uh, three of them over two meters tall. Reed, Mackay, and Cox, who I assume will play in Ridley's role due to his absence. I wonder if there is room for Cox with Ridley there, but uh, now it, he is now because of that omission. Uh, you also have Laverty there, who is an undersized key that can play small. But I know someone we're all pretty excited about, Lewis Hayes. Uh, so we're going to see him go up against some big bodies. It's a big test for him. I'm glad we get to see him. Many think he's in line for a debut this year. It could be a good chance to show what he's worth to the coaches and us fans. Uh, so it's a tall back line. You've got a handful of keys, but only one of them is under two meters tall, I think. If Hayes isn't two meters, then he's right on the limit. So it's going to be interesting to look at our flexibility. We aren't going to be able to use all these guys at once because... Um, I guess they're so tall and, and really kind of slow. A backline with three lanky Ent-like creatures and a rogue Ben Mackay seems like it wouldn't be able to function. I think you'll probably see those guys rested a lot throughout the game, especially because that Saints forward line isn't huge either. Uh, speaking of the smaller guys, there was a bit more of a jostle for spots with the general defenders. We we kind of used every key back available for selection, uh, but the backs, uh, the general backs... Uh, McGrath, Heppel, Redman, solid members of that back six last year. Of course, we also have Nick Martin there now. It's interesting that we went so tall with our keys and didn't really have many general defenders to match. There's every chance we see some guys play down back that weren't uh, we weren't expecting to. Maybe a, an Alan Davy Jr. Uh, or a Nick Hind. We'll get to that later. But still, this lot here, we have more key backs than we do general backs, which is rare. You can make the case for an Archie Roberts to come into the team instead of Lewis Hayes or someone. Which brings me to the guys who are missing. Obviously, some injured players. Ridley rested. Baldwin injured. Uh, Roberts and Lowell aren't used. Kelly is a winger, but could have been used as a general back. Um, he's also injured uh, or rested. Overall, keen to see how a new look defense looks together. Mackay down there is big. Reed feels like a new recruit. Martin in a new role. You've got youngsters like Hayes, who we're keen to see. It's good to see how it looks um, and and how all these cogs work together. Onto the midfield, short and sharp. Parrish, Sartas, Caldwell, Merritt, our captain. Uh, Setterfield, Goldstein, Durham, Bryan, and Dersma. Quite a few to roll through, which is good. A couple of rucks in Goldie and Bryan. Of course, Draper is injured. Uh, the engine room has some big names. Merritt, Parrish, they're joined by Caldwell and Sartas and Setterfield, who I'm keen to see again. He had a good preseason, uh, so let's see him continue that. You've got Durham and Dersma on the wing. Durham could be getting some genuine midfield time as well. Maybe put Push Nick Cox out in, onto a wing when he does so. Um, it's not at its best, the midfield. A few names missing. Uh, for example, Kelly on that wing. Draper. Uh, Hobbs, that shoulder still. No Dylan Shiel. Uh, it's a midfield that could definitely do with another big name or standout performer, though. Seeing it all on paper. There are a lot of good players, but only really one or two great ones. So we'll be watching closely to see if any of these guys can be looking at a breakout year, perhaps, um, uh, to improve it, that midfield. Anyone missing, aside from the injured guys? Not really, to be honest. And the forward line, this took the biggest hit with injuries, uh, so we'll see how it holds up. Uh, Hunter and Wanganeen, uh, they're both out, which isn't that much really. But Caddy and Wright, two key forwards in the mix to play round one, so it's definitely not at its best. Uh, but let's see it. Langford, Wiedemann, Gresham, Perkins, Hind, who should be up there if not back. Uh, Jones, Stringer, Davey, uh, Alan Davey Jr., uh, Guelphy, and Menzi. So it's very small. Perkins... Hines, Stringer, Gresham, Davy, Guelphie, Menzi. A lot of goal sneaks and guys that aren't exactly marking targets, which I find interesting. I almost would have rather seen one of these guys rested for a Roberts in midfield or defense. 
10 forwards, more than the midfield, which is odd. Uh, the keys, nothing really special, to be honest. Jones, Langford, Wiedemann. It's what we had at times last year. I think we had it on Anzac Day, if I'm not mistaken, uh, if Jones wasn't injured by then. Because I remember Wiedemann missing from Gather... Oh, I guess uh, even round two was when we would have used this key forward lineup. So it's the one we were probably the most familiar with and actually the best with last year. We were at our best when we were playing with it, funnily enough. Uh, Wiedemann will play forward. If he doesn't, I want Scott's head examined. Lining up with six or seven key backs and two up forward wouldn't make sense. You've got a few missing here. Jaden Davey, I, I think... That's about it, actually. Just Jaden Davey. Overall thoughts, quite tall down back, quite small up forward. Unless Scott has something planned. Um, obviously, injuries make that the case, though. Three of our key forwards are unavailable. It's an it's an all right squad. Practice matches uh, so aren't obviously going to be as strong. Some of these players aren't going to be risked. Uh, there is a lineup, uh, but I won't show you because it's pretty much just a team sheet with a bench of 400. I prefer looking at the squads for games like this. The lineup changes around anyway. But if you want to see that, go for it. Uh, four new recruits all playing. That's good. Can't ask for more than that. No uh, new rookies. Hopefully there are no injuries. Uh, fingers crossed. You better be crossing those fingers, guys. And now, I was originally going to go through St. Kilda's squad, but it's already so late when I'm filming this. I, I got home later than expected and kind of had to poop this video out. Sorry, it's not as concise as others. Not to say that the others are very concise either. That is all. Game tomorrow. Uh, now, I've decided I'll upload the review for that on Sunday, just so I can have more time to think about the match, uh, watch it when I get home. That will be the go for the year, I reckon. Reviews posted either on the Monday or a couple of days after a game. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully the game is a goodie. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to see more like it, and go Bombers.